Welcome, fam, to Worship Wednesday. Hope you guys are doing great today. I am Pastor Charity Mozafari, your worship pastor. And uh, you were in my uh, little home office today because I was uh, unable to go in the office today. But I actually get a lot more done here, believe it or not, because I can kind of just uh, get to work without any distractions outside of my animals, which are the constant distraction. But um, I thought it might be a neat, fun experiment for you guys to be able to kind of uh, be in with me on how I go about selecting songs for set lists, for the set list uh, on Sundays, right? Because maybe you've wondered, maybe you've been curious. So I have a, have a ritual that I go through um, before I start my set list and because really at the, at the, at the end of the day, uh, this is the most important thing when it comes to worship within a church context is I ask God, what does he want here? After all, these are his songs. This is his congregation. These are his people. He might want to hear something specific from us that would really bless him and bless his heart. And so I always start off by praying that before I even begin with my song selection process. I just kind of mind the Lord. I think on him. I ask him, Lord, what do you want to hear this weekend? What do you want to hear this weekend? And then from there, my next step is sometimes the Lord will put a song directly in my heart. Sometimes he'll put no songs on my heart yet or all of them. I'm not sure. But um, the next step I go through then is I see what sermon series Pastor David is preaching. After all, I believe that um, my job as a worship pastor is to support the bringing and presentation of the Word of God. And that in music, in praise, and in worship, we're really setting up, priming the heart for the Word. And then on the worship side, really uh, bookending and functioning in a response capacity to the Word that was right in the middle. Um, because it's important to me that all those things speak and talk together, right? So... Uh, little do many of you know, though, Pastor David is really amazing about coming up with sermon series, but often that's just a title. <laughs> so I don't necessarily know where that's going outside of like a general idea. And God always blows my mind in how faithful he is to um, help me out through the power of the Holy Spirit to find songs that reflect the word of God so well and what was preached and what was taught. And so I'm always amazed when it, when it works out as good as it does. And um, I think that goes to show that when we are leaning into him and his presence and the Holy Spirit prior to getting there, he um, is speaking to us already. Because I've heard many people say, you know, why can't things just be off the cuff and why can't things just be flowy? And they can't. And we make room for that. But my philosophy is um, God is far less, um, oh man, how do I say it? He is far less spur of the moment and far more planned um, when it comes to humanity. But it's just our job to uh, hearken into him prior to, right? So um, sometimes I feel as though we leave, you know, let the spirit move as an excuse just to be lazy in our preparation and in our leaning into him ahead of time. Because here's what I know about God. He already knows what Sunday is going to look like. He already knows what the next Sunday is going to look like. All I have to do is uh, lean into him and hear his heart and hear his voice and get into uh, the same train of thought that he has and that way we can be better prepared to do what we need to do on a weekend. Because I know for my team, when they know the songs well, they can slip more into worship and not worry so much about, you know, the chords and what are we playing and what song's next. They can just move into the presence of God. Now, there's possibilities that sometimes I miss it on the weekend. And all of a sudden, the Lord will, will hit me on a Sunday and say, nope, you need to change this. And I will. And I hope I will. Most of the time I do, if I, if I sense it. And then there's other times where the Lord gives us a plan and then some other variable shifts and he wants us to shift regardless. So we always say, let's make a plan for the Holy Spirit to mess up. It's his plan anyway, right? 
it's his choice whether he gets to keep it or throw it away. So um, that's that's our philosophy. Always come prepared, always come ready to go, and allow the Holy Spirit to work from that. So I will look at Pastor David's series. I will see kind of what he's preaching on and uh, really try to find songs that, that have a similar heart, have a similar message that can really uh, set our minds on what was just spoken to us and really affirm it as we're leaving the building. Um, so I do that. Then there's practical aspects that I consider as well. Um, keys, uh, tempos, um, overall, uh, who's singing and who's playing for the weekend because that determines some things as far as um, what people's strengths are. But at the end of the day, always, 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 the most important thing is that I feel like I'm doing what God tells me to do. And sometimes that means singing songs that I don't even necessarily like. <laughs> Personally, <laughs> right? It's not always going to be my cup of tea. But guess what? It's not always supposed to be for me. It's supposed to be for you or it's supposed to be that for person or that person. Another consideration that I have as your worship, worship pastor is, is the diversity of our church. The consideration that we are not purely a white church, we're not purely a black church, but we're a diverse church. And since music is so profound and reaches so many cultures, I try to be balanced as much as I can in that. And then also, we're not a strictly old church and not a strictly young church. So trying to find balance in that as well is um, a consideration of mine. So there's a lot of things to think about when being a worship pastor and when selecting the songs. And it, it, there's a lot of time that goes into it. There's a lot of time that goes into um, preparation. There's a lot of time in going into considering, um, getting my team ready. And um, so next time you see your worship team, and, and for some of you, you haven't been back in the building yet, so I understand. But just tell them how much you appreciate them because they work really hard to um, to present the gospel through worship in a way that'll link your heart to his. And um, they don't take it lightly, they take it very seriously. They really truly want you to experience God. And the worship team's heart at Church of the Harvest is never to be a show, but always, always to um, have you leave and say you felt the presence of God. So um, that's our objective. Now, sometimes we fail, but sometimes we hit it, and um, that's really all I want. And in full disclosure, you guys, even though I love for you to feel God's presence and I love for you to enjoy your worship experience, the most important thing for me is that He enjoys our worship experience. So um, I hope you have that same heart. I hope you sense that when you walk into Church of the Harvest as uh, we strive so hard to make that happen uh, every week. Okay, love you all. I hope you have an amazing week. Mm -hmm.